you can see that we have this little bubble of mild air that's over us now, and that's going to move out tonight. And some of this cooler stuff is going to come in for the next couple of nights. But don't worry, there's more warm air back out there to the west, and that's going to be uh, taking hold for the rest of the week, as a matter of fact. All right, so here's low pressure. Now, again, this morning we have that bigger batch of rain coming through, but that's going to come again much less. Uh, uh, much less in coverage as we move through the afternoon. So this is seven o'clock tonight. Let's bring that in close just to give you a close up view and you can see just scattered showers around. Some of us are not getting rain during prime time for trick or treating. So again, some of us are going to get through this dry and mild, but the, of course the grass and the ground is all going to be wet. And you know, some of the kids run across the lawn to get to your front doors. So it's going to be a little wet out there, but as long as they're not falling from the sky. But this low pulls out tonight. Tomorrow we start dry with some cloud cover, but then we bring right back into that mostly sunny sky scenario. And there's that warm air coming in that will be with us for the rest of the week. And in fact, today will be mild low to mid 60s for a high with those patches of light rain and drizzle 67 tomorrow with the sunshine by afternoon and then lots of sunshine Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Look at this rising through the 60s to near 70 by the weekend. Cold front on Sunday will bring us the chance, the chance for uh, a line of showers and storms across the area. And don't forget, we set our clocks back an hour this Saturday night.